Hey everyone, I'm Lars Brendan Quinn here following Michigan State's 77-72 win over Wichita State in the third place game of the battle for Atlantis. Uh, down the stretch after fumbling away a, a 15 point lead with eight minutes to go and kind of turning this into a, a manic wild finish um, here in the Bahamas. Michigan State was able to basically escape on some late three pointers by Cassius Winston and, and Miles Bridges and, and kind of steadying the ship after uh, a zone press by Wichita kind of tore up um, any momentum that the Spartans had going. That they, they managed to go all day without a scoring drought, uh, something that had kind of derailed a few games this year uh, for Michigan State. Today they went essentially 32 minutes uh, without doing so and looked really good along the way. But lo and behold, one of those droughts kind of reared, uh, reared its ugly head and Michigan State fell apart uh, against that zone press. Tom Izzo tried a number of different lineups, went with two point guards, went with um, Alvin Ellis alongside um, Tom Tom Nairn, put Cassius Winston in the game. Um, it really just kind of spoke to the point that when, when things kind of go awry, at this point it, it seems like Tom Izzo doesn't really have any reliable lineup that he knows if he puts out there what, what it's going to produce or how it will respond. Um, today, it really it seemed like it didn't matter who, who he put in the game. Uh, Wichita State had uh, had Michigan State unraveled at that point, and and that's kind of part of the growing pains, I guess, of, of this part of the year. This is three games in three days in the Bahamas um, for an opportunity to learn something for for Michigan State, and games like this are, are what that's for. So coming out of it, I guess the the, the negative is obviously fumbling away a 15-point lead. But part of the positive is, you know, for, for Cassius Winston and Miles Bridges to hit those shots and to make a couple other key plays, both of them got to the foul line. Now, some were made and some were missed, but um, those were freshmen growing up on the fly, and uh, that's what these games are for. So that will do it for today. Um, Michigan State returns to the court on Tuesday at Duke. I will be there once again, and I will be happy to talk to you after that one. So until then, as always, thanks. For